Guys, how's it going? Otto here, Fool's Gold. We're at Born Free 15, Southern California, Silverado Canyon, the greatest or one of the best bike shows on earth, I would say. I love motorcycles. Probably nowhere in my life have I been able to look at as many cool motorcycles at one time in one day or two days as Born Free. We're gonna run you through a few of them. These are ones that I like. Again, I always preface this by saying, if you like your motorcycle, that's what counts. It doesn't matter what I say or anybody else says. These are just bikes that I thought were special and they caught my eye this morning. We're out here again, born free. Ed Subius on the camera, Otto Deutsch on the mic, and we're gonna run you through four or five bikes that I like. Come on, guys. This first one, Beeb Spot. Greg, out of Los Angeles. If you know Beeb, you know he likes an FXR. This is a chopper, this is not an FXR. You got a cone shovel, it's got a magneto. Kind of cool, it looks like it's got electric start, which is kind of cool. I saw this bike go together on the internet and I wasn't, uh, I was like, oh, it's a cool bike, you know, but you see it in person, it's actually way better. Uh, one of the coolest thing Beeb did is he had somebody help him make this 21 inch, nine spoke front wheel. So it looks like Harley built a, a 21, which they never did. A 21 inch nine spoke. Nine spokes are the coolest wheels ever made. You know, maybe Morris Mag, but nine spokes, Harley Davidson, like some stuff they do right. Those wheels are iconic. Uh, he's got this little mini FXR center panel thing he put together. It's pretty cool. Sean McKinney. Sean, look at this guy. Look how good looking this guy is. Sean, what's up? Look how, look how handsome this guy is. We did a little Fool's Gold episode with Sean. If you guys didn't catch it, I think it's Fool's Gold 6. Number 6. I don't even know. Best one. Yeah, it is one of the best ones. Artist at large. Beeb's bike. Uh, yeah, what's this? Two into one collector, round uh, oil bag. It's just a good looking bike. It looks like it'd be fun to ride. It's got brakes. I know chopper guys hate brakes. I love brakes. Good job, Beef. Next up, Anthony Robinson. I don't know if I know this guy, but uh, I like that he took a power plant that is still not maybe born free cool, but he made it cool. Again, cone shovel, magneto, spark. This bike's got a lot going on. It's hard to like talk about it, but it looks like it was uh, sectioned just enough to be a little bit more petite. Triumph front end, Triumph oil bag, meticulous paint, and then that chrome frame. The, the frame's what really grabbed me by the boo-boo. Anthony Hales from Lancaster, California, so he's a California boy. He's out in the desert, you know, those guys in the desert, they get into that go fast and sometimes they don't come back, but uh, it looks like Anthony did just enough. So this is a cool bike and uh, I, I commend you, Anthony, for putting together something like this. Speaking of California desert communities full of go fast, hailing from Lake Elsinore, California, the one and only Dwayne Ballard. Everybody knows Dwayne's seats. Everybody knows Dwayne's leather works. Not everybody knows Dwayne's bikes, though he's built some of the most iconic Japanese powered uh, digger style motorcycles for the last 20 years. Dwayne's attention to detail is uh, unmatched. This is the Khan, he calls it. It's driven by an FJ motor plant, Yamaha. Dwayne loves him, a Japanese uh, power plant, and I am a fan of Japanese power plants as well. The paint by the Hot Dog Customs. We all know Hot Dog Pete, some of the best. He made West Coast choppers, arguably what they were for 10 years. This is obviously 80s funny car style theme paint job that Hot Dog executed perfectly. And this is a beautiful bike from Dwayne Ballard. I could look at this bike all day. It just screams. It just screams, period. So Dwayne, like always, impeccable stuff. Next up, bikes I like. Uh, I think this dude's a big deal, but I don't really know him, but he's a big boy. Luke Morris, Idaho. I seen him pull this bike out of the van yesterday. I seen him kick it over. I seen it start real quick. I'm not saying all of the bikes at Born Free don't run, but some of the bikes at Born Free don't run. This one I saw riding yesterday. I know it runs and it's beautiful. Panhead, dual linkers, chrome just oozing out of it. It's classy. Some guys build motorcycles and they just, they don't know when to stop. This is like, all these cool hand-picked Harley parts, molded, uh, tastefully, and customized. One beautiful motorcycle. Something I like, this windshield he's got going on is awesome. The chrome grips, his choice of tires, 
This looks like maybe the guy that built it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My name's Otto. Nice to meet yeah, you. I seen you pull a spike off the trailer yesterday or the van and start yeah, right yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling him, uh, not all the bikes here run, and uh, this one runs. So. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't have to, apparently. Well, but uh, yeah, they should. <laughs> they should. But it's a beautiful bike, man. It's beautiful. Well executed, Luke. Next up, world famous Dave Paul Green. Hails from Los Angeles. Um, man, it was probably close to 15 years ago. I'm reading the horse magazine. Kids these days don't even know what the horse magazine is, and that's all right. But I remember seeing this panhead in the horse, and it had this crazy paint job, and then it had a black guy uh, standing next to it. And I'm like, man, this, this guy's like got style. Uh, he's got an afro. Uh, I've never seen him before, but man, he, his, like, his bike was cooled in. And that was close to 15 years ago, maybe longer. And that guy turned out to be Dave Paul Green. Now he lives in California. His style has been fine-tuned and honed to a razor's edge. Dave comes to a lot of our swap meets. Um, I got a little bit of a love-hate relationship with him because somehow he's one of those guys, he shows up, he goes to the casino and he wins, and then he goes to the swap meet and he wins too. So it kind of bums me out. He's so good at so many things. He, uh, he moonlights as a lawyer, you know, so I think when he's doing this chopper stuff, he's kind of poking fun at how dumb all the rest of us are. But anyway, Dave put together this bike. He's got all kinds of tasty tidbits. He's got a little bit of gold. He's got a little bit of black. Um, he's got a beautiful Springer that he customized. I think, I don't know if he used Indian legs. I feel like he, these are Indian uh, right here and he chopped them up and made them nice. Um, it's just, it's classy. Uh, SNL L carb, and then it's got a cool name, Erotic City. And if you know Dave, you know he loves him some prints. It's ironic because Dave is the prince of choppers, and he's cute as well. So Dave, beautiful bike, knucklehead power plant. I mean, you can't go wrong with the knucklehead. Arguably the sexiest power plant ever built by the Harley Davidson Motor Company, and this is a a prime example of a, a cool SoCal themed chopper. So. Dave, solid. Hope to not see you at the next swap meet. Guys, this is Hot Dog. He's a little sensitive. Um, I work by Hot Dog, I love him. He's one of the best painters. He painted a bike for me. He painted uh, all these bikes for this small company called West Coast Choppers, and he built the bike this year, and it's really, really cute, and we're gonna go bug him. Come on, come on. Sorry, sorry, my friend. Pete? Pete Finland? Pete said, I'm a jerk. Uh, this is his motorcycle he built. SNS knucklehead. West Coast chopper frame? Yes, sir. Okay. CFL. CFL frame. Pete put his touch on it. Highly modified. Dave. Pete knows his way around the CFL, having worked at West Coast choppers for how long? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years till he got the axe. Um, uh, till everyone got the axe. Till everyone got the axe, he said. Uh, man, what, what do you want me to say about Pete? Uh, Talented as they come, he has the eye for style. Best flames in the world, in the history of choppers, in the history of paint. He's up there. He's up, he's top five for sure. And uh, built a beautiful motorcycle. Dwayne Ballard leather seat. Dwayne make these pegs and stuff. Yes, he's wrapped. Dwayne wrapped the pegs. And the cool ass side bag he did. And he's got this cute side bag that Dwayne did as well. I'll hang out at Pete's shop sometimes and he'll he'll chide me because some of my stuff isn't as pretty as he thinks it should be. And uh, he's one of the guys that have been doing it longer than probably anybody else out there. So when this guy chides you, you know it's you should probably listen to him. And I appreciate his gentle guidance, if you will, and all things cool. And uh, I don't think I listen very often, or he doesn't think I listen to him very often, but I do and I appreciate him kind of guiding and helping some of the younger guys like me make make something that comes out cool once in a while. Hey now. So. Absolutely. It's a great bike, Pete. All right, guys, last bike. Again, these bikes, I'm not discounting any of the other motorcycles here at Born Free. There's so many good ones. These are ones that just grab my eye right away as we walk to the builders and by the crowd. Um, this one, I guess his name's Lil Chris. He hails from New Berlin, Wisconsin. Uh, this is a K model Harley Davidson, right, Ed? Yep, K model, fast little uh, motor, super tasteful bike. I imagine this is the guy that built it. That's what I heard, little Chris. A auto, nice bike. I love it. Uh, you got this cute little kickstand, beautiful seat, 
cool paint job. Is that a nickel frame? Yeah, the frame's nickel plated and handmade. Yeah, nickel. You made the whole frame? I made the whole frame. You made, this guy made the whole frame, nickel plated, super sexy with his finishes and, and the coatings and then and the paint. Yeah, so, I did the paint work myself, Sage Pewter. He painted it himself, made the frame. Talented individual, it's a, it's a nice bike. Uh, always my thing is guys go overboards and they just don't know when to stop building their motorcycle. This one you like knew when to stop and you let all the uh, parts speak for themselves and it's beautiful. So what about these triple trees? Where those come from? The triple trees I made. You made those? Drew them up and we machined them out of uh, billet 7075 aluminum. Okay. They're 5 eighths wider to accommodate the wider dirt track tire. So custom made triple trees, they look like something Harley might have made in like their race department or something, you know? And yeah, they're uh, two pounds lighter each than the original uh, Ford steel ones. Yeah. We incorporated a dampener into it too, scaled it down. It's got a little dampener built in. Just subtle little touches, little flat track wheel in the front, sexy. Man, it's a it's a killer bike, little Chris. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. We got a little silly little TV show, Fool's Gold, and we're gonna put it on our YouTube. So that's one of the bikes I liked here. All right, nice to meet you. Good luck today. All right, guys. Okay, it's 8:48 at 9 a.m. They opened up the grass pass to all those kooks, so we're gonna get out of here before those yo-yos make their way onto the grass. Once again. If you like what we're doing over here at the uh, Fool's Gold channel, like, subscribe, uh, follow us, all that corny stuff. You can catch us on Instagram, Fool's Gold Junk Show. You can follow our Cycle Swap page, which is The Cycle Swap. And you can uh, leave a comment or tell some of your friends if you like our silly little videos. Like always, we're just trying to highlight the cool men and women that are doing custom motorcycles, custom cars, and custom art. So we appreciate you guys checking out what we're doing. and. Uh, We'll hope to see you soon. The beach is deserted, the coast is clear. The waters are calm, but there's a sense of fear. The shadows surround.